Okay guys, so I'm about to do the wiring part, uh, the wiring harness for um, the trailer. And this is for the 2016 Honda Odyssey. I'm going to be installing it. It's uh, 118521. Uh, this is the wiring kit with a module, some fuses, a 10, 7.5, 7.5, and the wiring, and some pull downs. Um, okay, what we're going to need to do is just so we can, because we need to get access to the panel, electric panel here. This is a, now we're in the back of the vehicle here, and we're going to get access here behind this panel here and in order to make it easier we're gonna just pop this off here so there's gonna be uh, you'll see the connectors here if we can get these off once we get this off then we'll loosen this up here and then we'll take off the panel we're gonna run some wires and we'll show you how simple it is and then here's the extra this is the, uh, the length of the wire that you would plug into your trailer these ends are going to go, there's two, there's a female and a male. In case you already have something already plugged into the access panel, you plug that into here first, and then this gets plugged into the panel. And a ground. Okay, so like I said, there's going to be two of these when we go to take this off. What I did is I just took a, a pliers and wrapped some uh, electrical tape on there just so I wouldn't scratch it up. I don't know if the lighting is, is good or not, but so we're just loosening this. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Now that I get it unloosened, you just unscrew that right off. Like I said, you know, I, I use something so that not to scratch it. You don't want to scratch it off your interior so easily. And it'll just unscrew right off. We're gonna do this on both sides. And we're going to do it on this side too, so we can pop it off. So I'm not sure if you can see, these are basically like um, long screws, bolts, I guess bolts you would call them. Uh, that's, there's two of these, and that's what was uh, holding it on, one on each side. And then there's, you just have to take your uh, screwdriver or some kind of tool to just pop up alongside here. There's little uh, clips alongside here. I'm going to try to show you with basically <laughs> one hand holding the camera. You want to try to get in between here without scratching, in between the rubber and underneath here. And like I said, you kind of pull up and there's little clips. Now, here's the clip spots. I just did them all. One, two, three, four, five, like six spots. Let's see. Underneath here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is what was holding it on. Okie dokie. And next we're going to unscrew this one, which I just loosened. Take off this one and just pop these off so we can get access to the panel here. Which is a little electric panel. That's where we're going to make this all happen. Okay, so as you can see, I got the panel loose. And we're ready to go. This is going to be very easy. The first thing I'm going to do is take the module box they give us here and with the wire they give you there's a, a gray end uh, the other has the two white connectors and then once you uh, take out the rubber band there's the part that would actually uh, hook into your trailer okay so what we're gonna do is take the gray end and the gray end I'm sorry this is tough holding the camera here take the gray end and there's only one way to plug that in so I'm gonna plug that in there and then there's a self uh, adhesive sticker here that we're going to stick it right in here so give me a minute here okay so now that I plugged the gray connector into the module before I stick it on I'm gonna take the wire with the two white connectors I'm going to feed that through and have that come out uh, where the electric box is panel because that's where we have to plug that in okay so we're going to feed this through and we also and we're going to have the connector over here and the rest of the wire will be sticking out and there's also going to be a ground too which I'll show you in one second so let me feed this through here okay 
So here's at the electric panel. So here is the two white connectors I was telling you about. You're going to be plugging it in here. If there's something already there, it would go into this one first. Obviously, this is the only one that would be able to be plugged into this. And you'll look at the little notch on the top. So this is that's the only way. There's only one way it can go in, okay? So it's going to go in like this. Okay, just make sure it's pushed in and this you just kind of get out of the way and now that that's in, we can take any of the extra slack and bring that back so where we're going to work on attaching this box here. So let me just take any of the extra cable. Okay, why, why we're here at the panel, let me go over the putting in the fuses real quick. So you get three fuses, you get a 10 and two 7.5s, okay? Um, you have to definitely use your thumb to push it in. It's really tight pushing it in. So I just did it, and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, and everybody's setup might be different, but on this first row here, okay, the first row, okay, the very front one, closest going towards the front, the very first one here, is the 10. You push the 10 in there, okay? The seven, Then you have two 7.5s. On that same row, the second from the rear, you're going to push one 7.5. Then the next row down, go over one, two, three, you push a 7.5 there. Okay? That's what it looks like. So a 7.5 pushed on this row here. So if you don't count that, the one, two, third row over. I mean, third slot over. Then in this row, the second slot over is a 7.5, and then the first one is a 10. Okie dokie. Let's move on. Okay, so it came with a, a white wire with a ground on it. And now it should come with a screw, self-drilling screw, and I didn't see it in the box, so I don't know if, if it didn't come with it or whatnot. But I had to screw myself and I just screwed it in to the metal here. This is your ground, okay? This will be your ground. Okay, and then here is the modular, the which has a self-adhesive stick. We're going to peel this off and we're just going to stick it yeah. right underneath there. Push down and then stick, so because it'll stick right away. So make sure you push down before you put it on there. Okay, that's next. Okay, so like I said, I put the ground on here. And I just took off the tape and stuck that on under here. So that's good. Now all you want to do is just make sure you run the wire underneath. And we're going to put the panel back. Put all the panels back. We finished uh, putting in the um, fuses. So the fuses are back. That's put aside. We're just going to start putting everything back. And we should be good to go. Okay. So we finished putting that on. Finish putting the cover back on and tightening it. 